What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to hook the Roxio game cap up to your non-HD TV because I know a, a lot of people are having problems whether it's either playing black and white or it's not playing at all so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook that up the right way. So I'll start off with what you're going to need and what you don't need. So if you've bought the Roxio, obviously you know it comes with the, you know, the little special component audios and all the little components to go from the Roxio to your TV. But obviously if you don't have an HD TV, you're not going to need the HD cords. So really the only thing that comes with the Roxio that you're going to need is the Roxio itself, obviously, and the USB to hook it to your computer. So it's common sense really if you don't have an HD TV, you're going to have to go out and buy regular, uh, oh, damn, what are they even called? AV cables, I believe, a something like that. I mean, you know what they look like, they're familiar, you got it. I think I got these at the dollar store for five bucks or something like that, so. And of course this, a lot of people say, oh, you don't need the, you don't need the, uh, Damn, I'm just blind, mate. Uh, my, I can't even speak. Uh, component cables for your Xbox. But you kind of do because, I don't know, you just do. <clears throat> or else you're going to get a lot of these problems that these people have, and it's going to be playing in black and white. And that obviously needs to be set on standard definition if you're not playing in HD because you don't have an HD TV, which I think some people just aren't paying attention to. And uh, this little coupler dude right here. It's like three or four bucks, I think. Anyway, so now I'll show you how to hook it up correctly. Okay, so I have these connected to the TV, and those are connected to the Xbox. Just to show you that I'm not lying, and I really do have a regular, whatever, standard definition TV that it doesn't have the. Oh, it's pretty dark back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. No, maybe not. Hold on. Maybe now. Come on, focus, focus. Shift bar. Well, you can see them. Barely, a little bit. It's kind of dark back here behind the TV. But anyway, I just wanted you to know that I'm not lying to you and really hooking it up the right way and just, I don't know. Anyway, now that you know it's really a standard definition, I'm trying to get to the point and not make you guys sit here for 10 minutes when it really only takes like 2 minutes. But uh, so now that you have these two, let me put the tripod back so I can show you guys how to hook it up. Right in there. Okay. So first off, you want to take your Roxio, and like this is the order it's going to go. It's going to go from your TV down this cord to the Roxio out the front to your Xbox. Maybe that helps you a little bit understand it more. So like this is the way that it'll be hooked up. Like there right there. It'll go T V Roxio to your Xbox. Okay. Anyways. Need to quit making a fool of myself. But uh oh down a little bit. Okay. So obviously you're just going to go with what, you're not going to use these, obviously, because, like I said again, you don't have an HGTV, so what's the point of using those? So you got your blue, or, shit, red, white, Jesus, I need to go back to kindergarten. Alright, your red and white. Now obviously you don't have a yellow hole, so your yellow's not going to go in right now. You don't have a yellow hole, how funny did that sound? Okay, same with the front. Just match the colors. And it, if you get one like I do, it'll say which two are the audio, which is the red and the white, if you know about this kind of stuff. It's pretty obvious. So, bam. Oh, and if you want, uh, if you have Turtle Beaches and you want your friend's voice to play through, like if you capture a game and you want your friend's voice to be heard, you just simply put your turtle beaches into the front of the Roxio and then put the component cables in simple as that 
I'm not quite sure how to get your voice recorded. I think you simply just have to, you know, open up some kind of sound recorder program and record your voice with a mic and then overlay it, like, you know, onto the video. And if you guys don't know all the, you know, tech talk or whatever, if you're like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know how to explain it. You just have to, like, record your voice somewhere else, you know, like on a different program and then add it over your video and line it up to make it sound right and I can make another video over that if you need it just leave it in the comments but anyways go ahead and finish putting your uh, your red green blue or red blue green whatever sorry if I'm stuttering guys I'm not really I'm kinda new to all this tutorial kinda stuff or whatever you wanna call it okay there's the so now you see that you've got two yellow wires and they don't have holes, they're just kind of there. That's where this little dude comes into play. Hold on, let me go ahead and turn the Xbox on. As you can see, I turned it on there. It'll sync up in a minute. There it is. As you can see, no, there's nothing on the TV yet. Okay. Let me go back down here. Hold on, let me show the TV while I do it so you'll believe me. Okay, look, both my hands right here. Here's this little coupler, dude. Do do, and do. Oh, what do you know? There's an Xbox. Kinda. Okay, let me show you one more time. Bam. Okay. Bam. Okay. So now to show you that it's not gonna record in some crazy fuzz or black and white. Go ahead and I'm going to stop this while I get it set up.